clouds are starting to move in. It was actually pretty clear when I woke up a little while ago. Interesting old place. I used their outhouse this morning. They got a men's outhouse and a ladies' outhouse. A bit of a hint of sky up there. Definitely looks like rain clouds over there are coming. Okay, the GoPro is probably going to sound terrible again, but it is buttoned up. Mic adapter is off, so sound is going to kind of suck, but it's waterproof. There's a bridge right there, but Pinoti don't go over it. It goes around it, so it must be horse trail. I think they keep us all segregated out here. Beautiful little lake down there. That is uh, Coleman Lake, and across that bridge right there is the trail to Coleman Lake Campground, which is not far. We're not going there. Uh, when I originally planned this trip, I was going out there. I even have uh, washing detergent uh, and soap back in my ammo can, but uh, it closed December 1st. So plans change. I'm doing this later than I planned. And here we go. Trails right down there just beyond my pack. I stopped here to uh, shed a layer. Getting warm. It's starting to sweat. It hasn't sprinkled anymore. There's just a few drops of rain hit and then it quit. But I hope it holds off until tonight. It would be nice. But anyway, we're here. At the trailhead, this is a parking area. There should be a bottle of water up here, too. Yep, I wonder how I knew that was there. Yeah, I put it there. I put out several. And uh, let's see. You are here. See that? Coleman Lake. Beautiful campground. Looks like we're going to go right kind of through a canyon. Duller Mountain Wilderness. The trail has just been wonderful this morning. It's uh, mostly pine needles and going through forests like this, just back and forth, meandering through fields. Well, if you call this field, it all looks about like this. Back to the south on the radar, maybe even at the church, uh, it was showing some light rain. Just a little shower coming through. I did get a signal up there on a the hill about a mile back, and uh, there's some heavy stuff out there, but it's still pretty far off to my southwest. We are passing yet another dirt road and the Chocoloco shelter is 5.2 miles it looks like. Thought in my mind to stop there if it was raining heavy. It has sprinkled again even just now. We 
a trail. Oh, it goes right here. It kind of merges with the horse trail. A little confusing. No, it don't. <laughs> I cut it. It went over to the right. A tree down there. It's in a bad spot. Those leaves are slick. I slid a little bit trying to get around it. Had to start kicking. Got back in heavy leaves here. You never know what's under them. It could be a root, a hole, a rock that's wet and slick. You never know. I almost went in. I had to kick like you're kicking in snow. I kick into the ground a little bit with my boot and come back up from around that tree. Whew, later. Yeah, it's uh, coming a little light rain. See it hitting the water. And what kind of a pretty area if there's sunshine. Kind of some bottom land in here. Nice campsite right here beside a little waterfall. Beautiful spot. Well, my uh, camera locked up on me. I don't know if I got that other clip or not, but uh, the stream keeps getting bigger here. And I'm traveling this old road bed. I'm probably two miles from the next shelter. Later. Got a little view here. That's such an easy trail this morning. And we're surprised by a sudden steep climb up to here. A little dangerous in places. The trail's not very wide. You never know what's under these leaves. Big old trees fell there. I had to go up and work my way around. Glad it wasn't in that real steep part back there. Got a small lake out here. Out in the middle of nowhere, it seems. Does look like there might be a dirt road out in there, but I can't really tell.
this Chocolaco shelter. I don't see a name. Might be over there. But this is it. Just noticed when I fell that last time, I ripped a big hole in this thing right there in the mesh. Put my can, set it down in there with some water so I can warm it without scorching it. Lunch short. Looks like we're at uh, County Road 55. And it's raining a little bit, sprinkling. See, I'm kind of right in the middle of the trail. I'm not really camping here. I decided to call it here. Uh, I think 15 or so miles from uh, Chief Ladiga Trail and that county road uh, where I finished on my last trip. So instead of uh, going through the rain tomorrow on these wet rocks, I decided uh, to just call it right here and come back later on when it's dry or it's safer and I can enjoy it. But uh, it's kind of cold up here. It was raining, sprinkling, and uh, I set this up and I'm just going to lay down in it and uh, wait on her to get to the trailhead. This big rock here is where I've got a signal. I didn't have a signal all the way up here. And, uh, but I'm just above the uh, Pink E. Burns trailhead. And uh, as soon as she gets close, I'll head on that way and I'm gonna go home. Be home for Christmas. Later. <laughs>